mousse au chocolat. Chocolate mousse. Ready, Bauer? Good boy! Okay, so chocolate mousse, what does it mean? Mousse, actually in English, means foam. So anytime you have something that's sort of foamy and airy and bubbly, you're going to call it mousse in French. So for instance, like shaving cream, we call it mousse à Or like a bubble bath, we call it un bain de mousse. And even like, you know, sparkling wines, if it's not champagne, we call it un mousse. So anytime you have some fluffiness and bubbliness like that, it's going to be mousse something. Today, we're going to make the chocolate kind, chocolate mousse. Ready? Okay, so when it comes to chocolate mousse, the simpler, the better. That's why I only use four ingredients. One pinch of salt, 15 milliliters of 2% milk, 210 grams of Baker's chocolate, semi-sweet, and six jumbo eggs. And I prefer brown eggs because that's what we used to cooking with in France. So the first thing I did is I melted the chocolate in a double boiler. All right, so now that the chocolate is completely melted, I'm gonna take it off the heat and let it cool for a little bit. Because while the chocolate is cooling, I'm going to break the eggs and separate the whites from the yolks. I'm going to set aside the egg yolks and focus on the egg whites. And I'm going to do something we call in France, monter les blancs en neige, which means to raise the egg whites into snow. It means you're going to beat the eggs super, super fast so that it's going to become snow. It's going to look like snow. And that's what is going to make the chocolate mousse very fluffy and moussey, basically, foamy. All right, so I'm going to use a handheld mixer and I'm going to put it in the very high speed. First, a little pinch of salt. And here we go, ready? It's going to get loud in here. And here we go. Perfect snow eggs. All right, the chocolate has cooled down, so now I'm going to set aside the snow eggs. And I'm going to add the egg yolks and the milk to the chocolate mixture. There we go. Mix it really fast with a spatula. See, it's nice and cool because the egg yolks are not cooking, which is good. a little slower so that it doesn't splashes around. Here we go. And right, now it's my favorite part. We're going to mix the snow eggs with the chocolate mixture and we're going to create our mousse basically. So I'm going to take about a, about a third of the snow eggs and I'm going to fold the chocolate mixture onto the eggs. So you do this movement where you fold the chocolate onto the egg whites. You want to be very delicate with it because you do not want to deflate the snow eggs. So I'm almost done folding all of my egg whites, the snow eggs. It took about 15 minutes total. You can see there's still a little bit of little pieces of eggs here that I need to eva make evaporate, sort of. Looks pretty good. Chocolate mousse is definitely one of my favorite dessert because it's pretty light, but it's still like the chocolatey that everybody likes. Chocolate mousse was actually invented uh, for King Roi Louis XVI, King Louis XVI. And it was invented not by a Frenchman, but by a Swiss. His name was uh, Charles Fazi, and he was a servant of uh, Louis XVI, and he's the one who came up with it. You know, Swiss, they're really good with their chocolate. But I think, you know, because it was made for a French king, uh, the French decided that, you know, chocolate mousse would be theirs. And so it became a French delicacy. Now that we have the perfect texture, it's time to pour the mousse into a container. So you can use any sort of container you want, a ramekin, a cup, a plastic, glass, anything you want because it's all going to harden in the fridge. What I really like to use is champagne glasses because it looks really pretty and it's also a good portion. Alright, well, let's see. I'm going to grab two glasses for now. 
and I'm going to use this measuring cup in which I'm going to pour the mixture. That way it's much easier to pour the mixture into the glass and it doesn't go all over your glass. Pour the mousse mixture into this cup and I'm going to pour it in the champagne glass very delicately and slowly so it doesn't mess up. It goes pretty fast. Some of it's going to fall off on the side, that's okay. There go. And there you go. So before I put it in the fridge, I'm going to put some plastic wrap on the glass. And you're going to repeat this for every glass of champagne that you have. Now I'm going to put the champagne glass in the fridge. And I'm going to leave room for all my other champagne glasses over here. So you want to be sure to leave the glass for at least four hours. So that's the minimum you want. What I really like is to leave it overnight because that's when you get the best texture. So if you're very patient, wait until tomorrow morning. This has been in the fridge overnight. Let's see how it's doing. You can see all the air bubble, all the sort of spongy texture, and that's perfect. That's exactly what you want. All right, so it tastes right, but now we need to make sure that it sounds right. You see with chocolate mousse, when you put it next to your ear like that, it's supposed to sound like when you step into a bubble bath and bubbles sort of crunch into each other. If you have that sound, then you did a perfect job.